What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another mod showcase. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Aelid Palace by Skyrim Lads. So, I did say that hopefully this was going to be the last one, but I think I'm all caught up for now. But I really love Skyrim Lads' homes. I think they're really unique and everything. So, let me show you where it is on the map. But basically, you download the mod. It's about 50,000 gold. The Aelid Palace is right here, right next to the last vigil, with the closest hold, or hold, um, hold being ripped in. So yeah, so immediately you are well greeted by eh, your typical Aelid, um, your typical Aelid, uh, ruins, or, uh, not ruins, um, style, marble and everything, because, you know, the Aelids were very known for their grand architecture. I like the blue the blue fire. I think it's really unique and really befits the alien style. You have that alien well. And then obviously hmm. you have servants all around the place. You have a little bit of a kitchen area. Oil crim treats. Oven, some meads. I like the the uh, unique tankards. Very cool. Got a little pool area right here. Crafting hall. We'll go into that in a little bit. Over here, you have more, another Aelid Well, restores Magicka. A little stable. Guard, and then this, this is where you would normally go up to uh, the... To the last vigil, or to the ebony warrior, when you finally meet him. And this is where you would buy the Aelid Palace. But before we do that, let us go. Well, I'm sure we'll uh, have a place. To go into the grafting hall. If we don't, then, you know, we'll eventually go. What can I do for you? And then here we have a grand hall. Chest over here. Assuming this is where you. Yeah. So that's where you go in the crafting hall. I knew it had to be something. Honor to you, my Thane. You have. Marble and marble and more marble. It's a very unique home. I really do enjoy this home in particular. If I was um, role playing a a lid a lost a lid um, wild elves is what they were called. We have some bookshelves. I like how they have fishies hangout spot that goes in the house. library we'll go in it a little garden area another a, a, a lid well planters fertile soil bench on either side Let us then we have a big huge kitchen area with a bar and everything. This looks like the uh, cows that you would find in Sovngarde, which I like that detail. Like they're cooking meats, steaks. Yum, yum, yum. 
That's actually kind of making me hungry, actually. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, that actually kind of make me... My God, all this gorgeous food. And this is the... Freezer. So all your freezer stuff. Very cool. Let's go... From the library and work our way around. What was that? We have the bookshelves, those display hall, and each room, like all Skyrim Laz's homes, is connected. So you don't have to ever get lost. Well, you might get lost, but you know, at least for me, I, I, I get lost pretty day, pre pretty easily. Um, so you have more bookshelves. Here you have a little study area. Very cool. A bedroom. Place to study books and stuff. Very cool. for you I guess or for your librarian here we have the big dong commentaries books fireplace Here you have all of your unique displays. So, for for example, your um, unique heirloom or uh, the um, Ar Arantino heirloom. It's all the guild quests or the data quests and stuff in the jar. Bugs in the jar. Treasure maps. All the black books we can find. Elder Scrolls. All of the shrines to the divines. I like these little um, sky shards. They're very unique. Over here, paragons. Dragon, pre Dragon Priest Mask, the, uh, the Claws, the Dragon Claws, all of the um, necklaces that you can find, standard weapon racks, all around. And obviously this is the Ariel stuff, so you wouldn't find, like, Isgamore's, you know, stuff, I don't think, he, uh, or Skyrim Laz had the Isgamore stuff in mind when he built this home. We have all the Daedric stuff. Very cool. So that goes one. Then there's upstairs. So we'll go upstairs real quick. Oh, nice. So it's like a little throne room. You have your Thane or your uh, house girl. Not Thane. House girl. Very cool. Down here, 
crafting hall. Nice dormer themed. I think that goes outside. Yep, it does. Okay. We have, for example, soul gym storage, I guess. Or no, that's static storage, my bad. You have staff enchanter, arcane enchanter. Most of it is static storage, but that's okay. Here is some rooms. A pool area. Very nice. I like how Garam Laz put the book uh, bookshelves and stuff in um, in uh, uh, within the wall. I think that's a, a, a unique way of doing it. Go down there in a minute. Here is the Grand Forge workbench, inning rack. Forge. Obviously, Dwemer Forge. Hi. Um, I think this is like the Aelid Forge. This is supposed to be Aelid themed. Arcane Enchanter. Altar. Here. Being area for various different people. You have kind of like a little hangout spot, our area. Very cool. I think there's only one place that we haven't been it's in here. Don't mind. So, various different pictures. So this is, these I think we're taking an in inspiration for Oblivion, as obviously there's no, there's no Aelid ruins um, within, uh, within Skyrim. This is your room. Very cool. Here are the, you know, buttons to disable the NPCs or uh, prevent undressing. You don't want them to undress. Here's the, uh, I would assume the kids' beds. These are the kids' beds because they're smaller in size. Very cool. Downstairs, and this is getting a little hangout spot. A little kitchen area. Down here is a very nice little hangout spot. Dining area again. Now this is are the followers beds. So depending on how many followers you have, they'll all sleep here. More followers beds in here. Here you have a massive pool. Garden area. You know, it's about with the Shrine of Meridia.
That's it. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Hi. Okay, is this? I don't think I did. Maybe I did, and I'm just not remembering. But yeah, I like a little bar and stuff, but. Anyways. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. And everything. I look very fitting for a Fulmer or an Aelid King because I have Elven armor on. But in any case, I hope you all enjoyed all the same. And I'll catch you all next time, guys. Need something? Have a good one. Bye-bye.